Hi guys, welcome back to Sushi Tastics channel. So today I'm going to be continuing part 4 of Tomb Raider. So without further ado, let's continue to the game where we last stopped. So we stopped here. Tell me. I broke something in it. With a bad feeling about this. I'm scared. What do you mean? I'm telling you, Reyes, it's a mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey. Is this little fox, huh? Oh, she's cute, huh? <laughs> hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my daughter. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. <laughs> she must, must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And, yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. Her father. So I was on the wall, right? Oh. Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. Hi, be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off. And I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. Did I just see you, bro? Can you take oh, me roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got... Cut, 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 cut! Cut. Is, is he coming back? Oh my god, the guy is so funny. I can't... Is he coming back? Discover. The world renowned archaeologist, Dr. James Whitman. I wonder what ever happened to Dr. Whitman, you know? This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Content. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? This is content. We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay and Oh, God, Gordon Ramsay. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one, your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old, it was my first find. No. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. Would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Now, well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. Yes. 
everyone's hunting on you. How to crouch? Can someone please teach me how to crouch? I'm crying. Where's the person? Yo. God f***ing damn it. Now what, now what, now what? Okay, never mind, you don't do that shit. Is there anybody there? So I think treading softly works. Did I not pick up for fuck's sake? Oh I get free sandwich from them. I'm not supposed to let the fucking light see me. Hey! Get that damn gun off me! Uh, 
think I'm not supposed to let the light to see me, so yeah. I do not. There's no saving, you know. Later I die, then I die everything. How again? Freak. <laughs> Don't lie, this music very kanchong, you know. This is Japanese, ah. Uh. This looks Chinese, you know. But whatever, lah. Uh, since say Japanese, then uh, don't really care. <gasps> he was treading softly, man. Bloody shit, with this bitch. Chong until I cannot, cannot. Now what? No way. Fuck. This bunker. World War II era. Probably Japanese. Thing about this stupid shit is I don't know how to fucking For better or worse, I now follow Father Matthias. If I'm gonna be stuck on his island, at least I have the best boss of the job. He calls me his first salary. Matthias might be insane, but he's smart and dangerous. 
he knows things about this island, I believe is our only chance of ever getting out of here. Matthias keeps us happy. We control the guns and the food. Anything the storm brings to this island is ours, and we decide the fate of any new survivors. Any who defy us are killed. We are masters of this fucked up prison. Damn, so... These, uh, people are called Matthias. Is it? Ah oh, yeah, it's called Matthias group. Father Matthias, I think it's like a priest or something. And then they're basically stuck in this island for quite a long time and then like whoever comes to this island they'll kill any of those people so this is kind of like a prison island basically <sighs> well i ain't gonna die here and get killed i'm gonna get out of here Bye 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 bye. Your head come out, you're good, gonna die, bro. If you come out, your head just die. I'm so right. fucked. Damage will incapacitate an enemy. Fire. That glass looks weak. 
Pick up. Destroy the banner. How oh, am I supposed to go around? Bye 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 bye. There's no one to run, outsider. What the hell? I'm gonna watch you die now. Shit. <laughs> No, oh, what do I do? Oh, I'm supposed to do something there, is it? Bro, I have no fucking idea how my what am I supposed to do? I'm so stupid. Wait, 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 wait. Oh field report. Despite loss of two cargo ships to intense storms, the expedition has made landfall. We've established a communication center high in the mountains, and coastal base construction has commenced. Initial surveys have revealed several possible excavation sites. The island is much larger than we originally anticipated, and layered with many centuries of history. The task of identifying the source of the storms will be long and arduous. But if we succeed in our mission here, our victory in this war will be certain. Oh, it's a 
machine gun, bro. Bro, my free wood, bro. I just realized, bro. I'm here in the clock tower. Hope I don't get ambushed, bro. Oh my oh god. Alex, are you there? Yeah. The console's a wreck. I'm so hot by uh, it. I see I'm Unless you see a radio shack around, you're gonna have to patch it manually through the maintenance panel. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Yeah, well, uh, you're gonna have to find it first. On those old towers, they installed those panels high up. I mean, way high up. Climbing again. Woo! Great. Great. I am alone now. The rest of them are dead. This is for the best. I watched from the cliffs as their makeshift boats tossed and turned by the storms. The clouds look like a hand upon the water, desperately clawing at their doomed boat. None survived the wrath of the storm. I observed it carefully. The storm was localized and sudden. And just as suddenly, it was gone. And this is the most interesting detail. It didn't seem random. I sensed emotion, something deliberate. I don't know what's happening on this island. Not yet. But if I ever hope to escape, I must understand this phenomenon. Now my real work begins. So basically he sacrifices the fucking survivors to learn something about the damn island. Oh my god. Disgusting piece of shit. Uh, 
can do this, Laura. That tower better work after all this. Yep. I can see the light. It's so bright. Oh, this music is so nun. So, this is a normal. Right? Well, this is where I will stop the game. So, thank you for watching. And please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to watch part 3 because it is very interesting too. And I hope that you all love this video. Bye, guys.